guys, welcome to my channel. I am Mastosh, and today we are going to learn 10 most beautiful English words. Okay, so let's start without wasting any time. Our first word is ineffable. Ineffable means when you are talking about so great thing, right? It means uh, whenever you think about something great, like uh, the ineffable love of God is what human can't understand, okay? Uh, we can use this word, like whenever you're talking about something great, you say, ah, he's very great. Instead of that, we can use ineffable, right? He is very ineffable, okay? Our next word is petrichor. Petrichor means a pleasant smell from the first rain after a long period of time. Uh, it means whenever rain comes after a long period of time, the smell of the rain um, smells very nice. I also feel the same. So, I, uh, you can make any sentence like, I love petrichor a lot. It means uh, you are satisfied that now monsoon has came. Okay, our next word is epiphany. Epiphany means a moment of sudden and great revolution of or re realization. Okay, it means when Newton found gravity. It's about that only when someone found something great, right? Like the gravity. So we can write in this sentence like Newton found an epiphany, right? Our next word is phosphine. Phosphine means a sensation of a ring or spot of light produced by pressure on the eyeball. So whenever uh, I rub my eyes like uh, like this or or and. Um, Whenever I do this, and I would just uh, blink my eyes as I say, I just like this and give pressure on my eyeball. So when I do this, I I see something great. I think that it's a new world. I came to the new world, right? So that word mean that word means phosphine. Okay, I have searched in Google and found it. Okay, our next word is ambulance. Ambulance means the feeling of being cheerful and full of energy when everything is perfect, okay? So, um, whenever I, I, I am cheerful or I am energetic, right? Um, I'm going to give my exam and I'm cheerful and I'm in, and I am energetic. So, what will happen in the exam? What questions will come? So, uh, in that case, any sentence, if anyone asks what is the sentence, so we, can, we can use I am ambulance today. Right? It means I am feeling energetic and cheerful. Okay? Our next word is Wanderlust. Wanderlust means a strong desire to travel. Whenever uh, you tell, you feel that uh, I am very bored of living in one place only, so you wanted to go somewhere else, so that, that you wanted to go from your childhood. Right? So, if anyone asks you, do you want to go anywhere? So, you will say, I I am wanderlust from childhood means I am wanted to go to the place where I want I I have not got ever right when you will be bigger teenager then you will go to that place right our next beautiful world is ethereal ethereal means extremely beautiful in a way that they seem not to be of this world it means a Great beauty of someone, of some pose that someone say, "Wow, she is very ethereal, right?" So, any sentence you can use. A cool, snowy, snowy morning looks ethereal, right? The snowy. Whenever you uh, wake up on a six thirty or seven, so you open the doors or and the windows, you see all side snow. You feel a pleasant moment, right? So. Here you can say a cold snowy morning looks ethereal, right? Okay. Our next wonderful word is sounder. Okay. Don't don't think that sounder is of the sound, right? It is not sound one. It's another word. Like right? the meaning of the sounder is the realization that each person is living as complete. Okay. Uh, whenever you ask, uh, someone asks you that. Um, uh, how many how 
many times did you face problem? How many times you struggled in your life? So if anyone asks you, did your friend struggle in your life ever? So you will say he has struggled a lot. You will say this, but instead of that, the interesting word we can use is sounder. Right? Last we can say he has sounded a lot in his life. Okay. So our next word is snorious. Snorious means used to describe a person's voice that is impressive and deep and full. <laughs> it means that whenever you uh, uh, listen to anyone's voice and you like it and you wanted to hear something more from that person, so you will say he has here yeah, her voice is sonorous. Okay. Our next word is oblivion. Oblivion means completely unaware what is happening around our, uh, our surroundings, right? Um, you will say, she oblivion as she is studying a lot. Whenever you study or your sister study or your brother study, so we can write here, she or he, right? Okay.